It's your man, Andrew. We'll keep it a true the game, as is my want and custom. Now, today I'm going to be talking about the same song. No, not the Digital Underground song, but the same song as his player type. And this type of guy will play the same character over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until you want to headbutt him in the face because you can't stand seeing that same character with maybe, at best, a different name, even if it at times appears completely anachronistic to the setting. Doesn't matter the same song, he's going to play fantasy version of himself. An absolutely ridiculous uh, characters I played with a guy like this for years and years. And of course, as you might imagine, had multiple, 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 up to perhaps the three digits in conversations, lectures, screaming, threatening, uh, stop knowing that. It is ridiculous. And, and of course we'd crack on him, you know. Uh, <laughs> we even threatened to go so far as to make all of our a whole group of us just make characters like him, make him describe his character first. And they go around the table and, and keep adding more and more details into his custom. And describe ourselves as just the exact same way, but so much, so much more so in every possible detail to just drive the guy absolutely mad. And, uh, you know, to crack on him, of course, uh, to his face about his custom. For it's ridiculous. That, is, that sort of character could absolutely ruin the game. I'm wondering. For those of you out there, have you played with a same song or a guy who will essentially only play the same character? Now, he may have the capacity to play many other characters, maybe even be a great role player, but it's that fantasy of seeing himself just kicking ass and being a badass. And just he's probably going to be a Billy Badass character, but it might not be. Might be some weird little freaky other thing going on with the same song. Or it's really a personification of themselves, a massively blown up version of themselves, and that might even pay passable once, maybe twice for a character having to endure it, but having to endure 20, 30 of that same character in different games, whether it's in Dark Sun, or Ravenloft, or in Warhammer, uh, flip over to Rifts, you'll see him there with some dark shades on, he's in Vampire the Masquerade, sometimes he's a mage, uh, sometimes he might be in Cyberpunk, or in Shadowrun, or in GURPS, or in fucking Tune. it doesn't matter, because that guy's there, so is the character. Now... This sort of character is really a problem because it gets absurdly annoying and is incredibly predictable. The same track, the same pattern is going to be there, so it's essentially is you, the other player characters, or the game master is sitting there in a perpetual rerun with this character. All the actions are essentially predetermined. It's almost as if uh, you've given someone the equivalent of a module for their character. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, we've all played through uh, module A12 before, over and over and over again, but... Uh, I guess we'll get to see that, and it uh, won't be any big surprise. Now, this character also is a problem because, as a game master, you might want to have the interest and ability to monkey with the character, with the player uh, choice a little bit, customize it, change things around, certain you know uh, things happen with them, and that player is not going to be happy about this because they want the character to be exactly uh, the, the way they put them together. They're almost sort of a... Uh, player version of the frustrated uh, writer, which I talk about in one of my previous videos uh, from the Game Master side of things. Now, the particular version of, of this this character uh, that I'd seen uh, from, from this guy, all the characters, big black guys, uh, it's absurdly big with the bulging muscles, massive weapons, the, ma the biggest freaking weapons you can imagine, whatever the setting uh, allowed for in terms of massive weaponry. And... Uh, Always in, always in black, if setting allowing sunglasses. Um, always uh, sort of a ridiculously evil, uh, but but bravo, completely cowardly. If you, if he knew your character, if he knew your character could smack him down, he would never get out of line with you. You know, I used to say back when we played D and D, who's playing? I go because they used to have on charisma one henchman. I say, well, better check one of those off because I got this guy in the game, and he, you know, my characters are very unpredictable. So it would very much uh, make him afraid, and he would just go along with whatever I said because he would be scared that uh, I would have a trick up my sleeve. Which I do have a trick up my sleeve, but that 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 level of vastly different playstyles was uh, uh, brought that about. But I'm wondering how many of you out there have seen that kind of person that plays the same character over and over and over and over and over and over and over again? How have you handled it? How have you dealt with it? Uh, have you seen that to this sort of uh, almost epidemic in one person, if you can apply that word that way. Uh, so I'd like to hear your, your thoughts on that. 
And if you, like me, think this is one of uh, the absolute worst things a player can do.